We're getting ready for Invicta FC 22 Saturday nights here in Kansas City and uh, very excited to be joined now by Jin Yu Fry, who's getting ready for uh, exciting fight. Um, you know, last time we talked to you, you were going into that title fight, and while it didn't go your way, um, I want to talk about it for a brief moment because you had more success against Ayaka Hamasaki than anyone has had uh, against her since she's won that title. Um, have you thought about that fight much at all? Because while you lose via cut, and it was a cut from a legal punch, there were still a lot of things to walk away from feeling proud of, proud of I think. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think about it um, a lot, a lot of late, light, late nights. But um, also, you know, you can't sit and just dwell on things like that. There's no use crying over spilled milk. Um, so right. I'm not going to let that be just like a dark cloud that hangs over me. Uh, so time to... You know, put my big girl pants on and uh, keep moving forward. I want to talk about that that cut a little bit because obviously you're protesting the stoppage. Did you have a chance to look at it uh, right away, or was it a while? What, uh, what was that process like? You know, I honestly I didn't even know that I'd been cut until I saw like blood on the canvas. But um, you know, I didn't think it was bad. And you know, obviously at this point it wasn't in my eyes yet, mm -hmm. um, so I didn't see any reason why um, it was stopping me. Right. Now, going back to that that fight, um, I remember it seemed like you were in such a great mood leading up to it. Your weight cut seemed to be uh, on point, you know, better than it's ever been. You were talking a lot about your nutrition, and, and how did that feel? Because, I mean, we haven't really had a chance to speak since that fight, but how did it feel, you know, going into that bout and, and doing what you did and then coming out of it? Did, did, did the, the nutrition and the weight cut, did that feel a lot different when you were actually competing? Um, no, I, I felt great. You know, we were at the second end of the second round, and you know, I still felt really fresh. Um, so, I feel like I could have gone the whole fight. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, you following that same sort of uh, steps to this weight cut. Do you feel that that's going to be your weight cut from now on? Just yeah, for sure. Um, you know, because luckily my nutritionist and chef uh, also happens to reside with me. Right. So, um, you know, it's it's the same every time, and. You know, my husband's a big journaler, and so mm -hmm. he, he journals everything. Um, and so we have four or five weight cuts on paper, like what we did. This is what I ate. This right. is how many calories I had. This is what my weight was when I woke up. This was how I was feeling. This is the kind of workout I did. Like, he's he's pretty um, kind of a mad scientist about it. So, you know, we're always able to refer back and say, well, at this point in your camp, you know, you were wearing, you were weighing this. You know, this is what we did to get the weight off. And so... Uh, we just kind of have our formula that we follow now. Sure, and uh, yeah, he, uh, he he's one of my favorite follows online. <laughs> he's he's always putting things up, and um, you know the the videos and stuff that that you guys put out. It's 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 cool. I feel like over the last few months we've gotten to know Jinyu Fry a bit better, at least from the social media stuff, and I think it's been it's been really interesting. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm lucky to have him. I'm not as good about it. Like I just, you know, I'm I have my mind on other things like training and. Uh, eating or you know I'm just tired and you know what I mean like it just doesn't occur to me like hey I should post something or maybe right. get a little inside view into what I'm doing yeah and so he's usually there like hey we should post this hey yeah. let me take a little clip um, so he's he's good he keeps me um, on my toes about it well, it's hard you're a fighter right you should be focusing on being a fighter uh, yeah, yeah. You know? like I'm not as good at, at like the marketing side right and, you know keeping myself out there yeah but uh, you know fans I think appreciate it you are a huge factor here in the 105 pound division um, you're taking on Janessa Morandon, and Invicta has a history of bringing in young Brazilians that are undefeated, and sometimes you never know what you're going to get. We got Erica Tiburcio out of that, you know, and, and you, you you fought her. Um, Livia Souza came in, you know, undefeated, very young, took a title. Um, were, were you able to really do your due diligence and figure out what you could about Morandon coming into this fight? What do you know about her, and, and how do you expect her to approach uh, Saturday? You know, I think she has great striking. Um, we we there's really not just a ton of information mm -hmm. out there just because all of her fights have been in Brazil. Um, but that's okay because it kind of just um, adds another facet to the challenge, and I enjoy challenges. So, you know, like you said, you never know what you're going to get. But yeah. uh, um, I feel like I'm prepared for everything. So, She's excited. she's a knockout artist, five uh, KOs on her record, a uh, record uh, unblemished, 9-0. and oh. uh, You expect this to be a firefight throwing, you know, hands and feet? I think so. Um, you know, because she's, she's young and hungry, and she's coming in. She's riding a good winning streak. She's coming in confident. I'm sure she'll come in aggressive. But uh, uh, this isn't my first rodeo either, so. Yeah. Um, talk about that. I mean, this isn't your first walk to the Invicti FC cage by any means. You fought for a title here. You know what the process is like. This is her first time fighting here, coming all the way from Brazil. 
Um, you know, th that process can weigh heavy on a fighter if they've never experienced it before. Do you it think can. that's uh, uh, something that is in your advantage, one of those intangible things that you have? Yeah, I think so, because I, I just remember my first time here and just, like, it, it was a little bit overwhelming. Like, I just didn't know what to expect. Um, you know, and even, I think it's just like a little bit of subconscious stress. Even if it's a good stress, it's, you know, your body still reacts to it the same way. Um, so, yeah, I would say... You know, that's that's one of those, like you said, intangible sure. things that you just you can't really um, quantify. But I think it is a little bit. Hamasaki is on this card. If you would have told me a few months ago that the next card would have featured Ayaka Hamasaki and Jin Yu Fry, I may have assumed that you were fighting one another. Um, obviously, it's not working out like that. She's moving up to 115. You know, maybe for the foreseeable future, maybe for one night only. What are your thoughts on the title picture at 105? Do you feel that, you know, one more win, if she does stay here, that you, you are deserving of a title fight because you had so much su success in that first fight? Or is this going to be something that you have to earn again with, you know, two or three more wins? You know, I think that just because of the way it ended, um, I am deserving of it. Um, but, you know, things, things have gotten really jumbled with, you know, Angela Hill going up and then yep. Ayaka saying that she wants to move up. And, she, you know, I get it. She wants to move. You know, the, the end game is the UFC. Um, but, you know, I'm not trying to sit on the shelf waiting for her to figure out uh, what's in her future. Right. Um, you know, it was my conscious decision to ask for this fight um, and to be able to fight somebody else because I just don't, didn't want to sh sit on the shelf. For a long time in women's mixed martial arts, the opportunity has not always been there, whether it was 45, um, you know, the, the, the 125 pounders still don't have a UFC belt to go for, um, and the 105 pounders don't have a UFC belt to go for, but Invicta is promoting those divisions. I mean, if you are the Invicta FC champion, you are the best 105 pounder in the world today. Same thing with 125. Um, we've seen fighters fight above their weight class, sometimes below their weight class, to try to get that opportunity to go ahead and try to become a mainstream success and, you know, be the, the Ronda Rousey, the Amanda Nunes, these mainstream figures of their weight classes. Um, you, you've, you've stuck here for, for 105. It sounds like you're staying at 105. You want that. Have you felt that pressure to just say, you know what, uh, I, want, I want to go to the UFC, so I'm going to go ahead and, and really just go away from where I'm at right now because you're a main player. You're a main player at 105. Have you ever thought about moving up to 15? And You know, and I'm not going to say that I haven't. I'm not going to say that, you know, the idea hasn't been there, especially um, like three weeks deep into the weight cut when I'm like starving sure. and, you know, I'm not satisfied and I'm still hungry and want to eat some more. I I'm not going to lie that the idea does, you know, uh, get kicked around a little bit. Um, but we kind of just take things one fight at a time and, you know, there aren't very many people who can say that they're the best in the world at anything, and it's like right. I'm so close. Like, why would I give up all of the work that I put in, um, almost being number one, to chase after this dream? It's like maybe once once I reach that that goal, maybe I can set a new goal and say, okay, now this is what's ahead of me. But, um, you know, me and Ayaka have uh, unfinished business. so it, it is unfinished, and I think that, you know, before too long, eventually, uh, we're going to see the next chapter in that story, whether it's in the immediate future or a year or two years from now. Um, th there were a lot of uh, a lot of exciting storylines that that kind of came out during that fight, and um, I don't know. I, I think that we'll probably see it sooner than later. But obviously, before you uh, can get there, you need to take out this uh, tough Brazilian who poses a lot of questions in her own right. We'll see what happens coming up on Saturday. By the way, Jin Yu Fry. I was talking about this before we went on the air here. That's your, your name. I want to I want to set the record straight. You is your maiden name, right? Yes. Fry is your married name. Yes. And when we say your last name, we can either say you or Fry or you Fry, right? Yeah. Small Fry, you Fry. Small I, Fry. You know, whatever you whatever you feel like. <laughs> I love it. All right, Jin Yu Fry joining us here uh, as we get ready for Invicta FC 22. Thanks, Jin. Thank you. Invicta FC 22 this Saturday night live on UFC Fight Pass. A ton of fights that you need to pay attention to and a ton of new names and faces to get used to. And I am joined by one of them right now, Jeanette. I'm going to try. Janisa Morendin. I I'm, I'm, yeah. can't yeah. do it. Not, not okay. so good. Thank, okay. thank you for being nice. Uh, <laughs> you're here with uh, your, your translators. Logus. 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 I appreciate you joining us as we get ready. Uh, for this bout. Um, not a lot of footage for you out there 
Um, do, do you feel that is a, a benefit coming into your Invicta FC debut? No one really quite knows what to expect from you coming up in this fight. Can you repeat? There's not a lot of footage of her. Um, do, do she feel that being an unknown to her no. uh, opponents here in Invicta is, is a good thing that maybe there's not a lot of studying? Não tem muita informação sobre você. Você acha que ser meio anônimo assim é bacana para luta? É legal para você? Isso é bom, a minha oponente não tem muita informação sobre mim, isso acaba sendo uma vantagem. She thinks... Yeah, the red on that microphone for me. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yep. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> She thinks it's good because the opponent will not have a lot of information about her game, her style of fighting, so it can be a positive thing. Sure. Um, looking at Invicta, we've had a lot of undefeated young Brazilians come in here, and from out of nowhere, they're fighting for titles or winning titles. Erica Tiburcio was one, um, Livia Renata Souza, uh, another. H have you, in Brazil, sat back and, and watched Invicta and, and seen the success that the Brazilians have had, and has that motivated you? Você, várias brasileiras já vieram aqui, né, sem perder, e fizeram grandes lutas. Você já viu algumas dessas brasileiras? Isso te motiva? Sim, isso me motiva muito e eu espero continuar com o meu cartel invicto. Uh, she, she used to see the other Brazilian athletes that fight invicta. And she thinks it's very, very motivated to her and she wants to keep the, the card that she has, the good card. Um, you, you have a very good opponent in your first fight. Jinyu Fry is uh, one fight removed from fighting for the title. So if you're able to get this win at Invicta, you're an immediate factor at 105 pounds. Do you feel that uh, a title is within reach with one or two wins here? O teu oponente é muito boa. Ela veio de uma luta, está na lista pelo cinturão. O que que você acha de fazer isso? Se você ganhar, você vai estar na reta para o cinto, né? É um grande desafio na minha carreira, é, lutar contra uma das melhores da categoria. Eu me sinto sem pressão justamente por isso. E eu sei que se eu ganhar essa luta, com certeza eu, eu posso, a chance de disputar o título é muito maior. She respects a lot the opponent, she knows she's very, very good, one of the best of the category, but she feels motivated to this fight and she knows if she can make it and, and get a win from the opponent, she will be one of the candidates to have the title. Looking at Jin, she's a very good striker. We've seen her have success on the feet, but you know, looking on paper, you have five knockouts. It's safe to say that of your nine wins, five of them come by KO. You're, you're a bit of a knockout artist. Is, is that the type of fight you expect from, from Jin Yu Fry? Do you feel that this is going to be a fight where you get to stand on the outside and, and throw hands? É, a, a oponente é muito boa, né? muito boa de strike. Mas você tem nove vitórias, cinco por nocaute, e você acha que pode repetir isso hoje na luta? É o que eu espero, né? Eu espero uma boa luta, espero que a gente a gente faça uma luta agressiva e que agrade os fãs. Uh, she wants to make a very good fight. She knows the opponent is aggressive, but she is very aggressive too. Have a nice floor game and, and standing, she is good too. And she wants the kill. How important is the way that you win this fight um, weighing on your mind? Do you feel that like those style points is a way that you can maybe progress your uh, career closer to a title? Do you feel you need to win in an impressive fashion should your next fight potentially be for a title? How important is this fight? To win this fight can put you in the mirror of the belt. What does this represent? É que nem eu disse nas outras entrevistas, é, lutar no Invicta é o sonho da minha vida. Então eu já me sinto vitoriosa só de estar aqui. Isso é o mais importante para mim. Curtir o momento, sentir toda a vibração do evento é o mais importante. Like she said in other interviews, being here in Invicta is a dream to her. She's very happy for this opportunity. And but she knows it's very important to have the, she wants to win the fight because she wants the belt. You uh, not only have the ability to finish fights with your punches and, and kickboxing game, you have submitted opponents in the, in the past. What should fans expect? You talk about you being very aggressive. Is that only on the feet, or will you take your opponents down and actively hunt for submissions as well? 
É, o que, que, o que, que as pessoas podem esperar? Eles já sabem que você é meio agressiva, mas você vai mais pro chão, vai ser uma luta mais em pé. O que, que eles podem esperar de você? Eu, é, eu me sinto muito preparada para lutar em pé, no chão, aonde a luta for, eu, vou, eu sei que eu vou me sentir confortável. Mas eu não escondo que eu gosto de trocar porrada. She's very prepared, both the floor or standing up, but she will not hide that she wants to have some strikers. What do you expect this fight to look like? Do you, do you expect this fight to be one that can go three rounds and be an absolute war, or do you expect to come in and you know, dominate Ginny Fry? Você acha que essa luta vai ser uma guerra de três rounds, ou você espera chegar e dominar o oponente? Eu não gosto de falar disso. Você espera uma boa luta. Eu só espero uma boa luta. She only expected to have a nice fight and to to make the, the show happens. Awesome, Janessa, I appreciate the time. Best of luck uh, coming up on Saturday against Ginny Fry, and welcome to Invicta FC. Thank you. <laughs> We've done. We're all done. Thank you, guys. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. Thanks. Translates good. Nice meeting you.